What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 89 overall Diaz has just came out. A flashback card, 79 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 defending, 87 physical, 92 passing and 83 shooting. He looks pretty decent to be fair to him, but this is where we get into a bit of a sticky situation. 5 foot 5. I've never seen a smaller CDM than this guy right here. And I am, I would say I am looking forward to it, but I'm really not because Kante is five foot seven. Even though Kante is amazing, at the end of the day, do I believe this card's gonna be amazing? That's what we're here for. Medium high, perfect defensive work rates, three star skills. Don't really do skill moves with my uh, midfield anyway, so that's not gonna matter. The three star weak foot is though, I'm gonna be able to switch the ball from one side to the other without a problem. Now, he is on the anchor, Kemri style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 89 acceleration, 88, sorry, 78 sprint speed. Mm, he's not the fastest, but at the end of the day, that 99 aggression that you do see on the other side is going to be literally carrying that pace. Every time this guy is going to get near the ball, it is literally going to be like, I don't know, supersonic just straight onto the player. Now, shooting-wise, he's actually pretty decent at shooting. 80 attack and positioning, 68 finishing. 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 81 volleys, 81 penalties. I tell you what, if it does come out to, you know, the edge of the box and he is on it, I'll give it a go. Why not? 95, sh 95 long shots with 99 shot power. I'm expecting that ball to absolutely rifle in the back of the net. 89 vision, 84 crossing, 93 free kick accuracy, 96 short passing, 94 long passing, and 94 curve. This guy's going to be switching the ball from one side completely to the other. He's going to be doing these over the tops, the link up play, the give and goes, the one, two plays. Should feel amazing on this guy. Now, 86 agility. For a guy that is five foot five, I would think he would have more than 86 agility. 99 balance, 87 reactions, 91 ball control, 80 dribbling, and 87 composure. I'm expecting him to be calm and composed on the ball, keeping it nice and close to his feet. But at the same time, I'm expecting this guy to feel probably better than Kante. Now, he's got 95 interceptions, him having a 5 foot 5 reach. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't experienced that before. 97 defensive awareness means he's going to be at the right place at the right time. 95 standing tackle. He's going to be very, very strong. And hopefully, he doesn't just get the ball. He gets the player on the way out. 90 slide tackling as well. I don't think he's going to be great at slide tackling simply because... He hasn't got that big of a reach when in slide tackling. So, he can't really get his, get his foot around the ball. So, I don't know how that's going to work out. 93 jumping, him being 5 at 5. 5 foot 6 and below. I wouldn't go to extent of even going near 5 foot 7. Now, 97 stamina means up and down a bit shouldn't be a problem throughout the whole 90 minutes. 85 strength means he's pretty decent. Pretty decent strength wise. With 4 or 5 foot 5, I was expecting lower strength. But as I said, the 99 aggression is going to make him faster, but at the same time, win more 50 50s. Now, today I have linked him up with Lopez. Zaraco, I think that's how you pronounce it. Van Dijk, Rio, and Ikone. I've also got the likes of Neymar, Korea, and Zambotta in the team. I will be using DS in a 4-4-2, playing him in that centre mid role, but I also want to try him at CDM, so I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. So what we always do at the start of every player view is pretty much see how agile he really is. And he looks pretty decent, to be fair to him. He looks quite bulky as well, which means he should be bodying players left, right, and centre. Nice. Good position. Little turn. Double ball roll. Get the angle. Go for the shot. Okay, that was that was weird. I did not expect him to bring out the keeper there. Now, if I did expect him, I would have probably just finessed that. But at the same time, I don't think anyone did. Nice a little turns once again. He does feel very nice on the ball and he feels very, very jammy. I'm going to go for a finesse. That is an issue now that finesse should have absolutely flew into the top bins but somehow some way it goes so far up it's ridiculous a little switch of play yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be obvious that he can do those little passes all day of the week just a cheeky over the top on the it was like on a half volley as well and somehow he still makes it perfect that's a beautiful pass can i get a little pass across as well oh but that's what you're going to get from DS. The fact that you can do all these little cheeky passes and people don't really expect it. That's an unbelievable read from me. And a beautiful tackle from Diaz. There you go. He got there eventually. I did go for an attempt at the start. But 
it didn't really go well. I'm not going to lie. My timing with him right now is a bit off. But at the same time, he does recover really, really well and just gets the tackle off. Go on, Diaz. Little pull roll. Little turns. That's beautiful. He did obviously shot, like shift off. I wouldn't say shift off, but I would say hold off his opponent as well. But I tell you what. That outside foot shot trait there was unbelievable. And I did forget to mention that he obviously does have it. And that is always going to be a benefit inside the box. This is a beautiful finish. So much shot power and so much accuracy behind the shot. I don't know. That was a good tackle. But he doesn't really seem fast at all. He seems like he's going to be one of those players that is a more of a holding DM. And just play from the back and be able to do those little cheeky through balls just like that. And we get an easy finish. Okay. I like Diaz's positioning. It is so nice. The way he positioned himself always for a passing option there is crazy good. And I always, I'm always going to trust in Diaz positioning. The positioning, sorry, passing. Simply because it's 90 plus. He's going to get RBAs. He's going to get EAs. He's going to get the through balls all correct. That's a beautiful switch off play. And it's one of those ones where my player can just simply run onto it and start the attack early. And that's exactly what you need from a sentiment. Diaz on the edge of the box. Go for it. Oh my God. It was a beautiful shot to be fair to him. So much accuracy. So much shot power behind the shot. But the keeper, David De Gea, just saves it once again. One problem that I do get from Diaz is I can see my opponent doesn't really feel threatened from him. And like playing with the likes of, I don't know, Hullet or Vieira, you can really tell, or even Footmus Sissoko, you can really tell no one really wants to go near those players simply because they have a big reach to them. They are obviously big and no one's going to be scared of a 5'5 five five CDM and that it could be a problem. One thing I do like of DS is that you can actually go forward with him. And now a lot of CDMs you can't really do that nowadays with. But DS does feel very, very good on the ball. And he can do stuff like them. Look at that pass to James. That was ridiculous. The little thread of the needle pass. The way he just makes it look so, so easy. And we could have actually ended up scoring from it. I need a little cheeky through ball. It's an unbelievable pass. So Kone is going to run onto it, but he is just going to get shifted. But you can't take anything away from the beautiful pass. I'll tell you what, though. Diaz is not the player that I did expect. I expected a player that's going to be very, very small. And he's going to be kind of a waste in a CDM position. Simply because he hasn't really got that reach to him. But he's actually doing pretty decent. The only thing I'm struggling with him right now is just getting tackles. Which is obviously one of the most important things in a CDM role. One thing I do advise you guys is if you are going to play this... Uh, DS, you 100% need to play him with a bigger person. Also, that was a very good interception from him, I must say. But at the same time, as I was saying, play him with a bigger person. Play him with a person that is six foot two and plus. Because I would not risk him with a player that is, I don't know, like in Golo Kante. You're going to have a five foot five or and a five foot six player next to each other. It's not going to go well in FIFA. One thing I have noticed, he sits very, very far back. Like, look at the other CDM and then look at DS. The way he sits back, he's like, he's more of a defender than anything. And he is ready to defend rather than go forward. It feels like he's more comfortable at defending than anything. I like his positioning. His positioning is so well. So, like, for example, there I ran him out position. But then he recovered really, really well. Stood in front of Aguero, just reading the passing lane. That is one thing DS is always going to be able to do. That turn was ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. I clicked RBA first time. And then he decided he wanted to do that turn. So he's got a little mind of himself apparently. But we have got a free kick here. And there is only one person that can take this. Diaz does step up to the plate. 93 free kick accuracy. Maybe that's a bit too high. But at the same time, why not give it a go? It is going to be... Oh my god. I did not expect him to do an outside foot shot free kick. That is one of the first times I have ever seen that. And it was probably going to be one of my best free kicks if that actually went in. Nice positioning from Diaz once again. Loses out on the ball though. Didn't really take the greatest touch, but it wasn't the greatest movement from me either. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is actually really nice, but 
there is obviously problems with this card. Starting off with him being five foot five. For me, a five foot five CDM that can't run. One hundred percent. No way. No, 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 no. He's gonna be too small. He's gonna be very. I wouldn't say very weak, but I would say he's not intimidating the opponent a much. Simply, if you play with, like, against Hullet or Vieira, they're both six foot four, and you're gonna be scared of him. But then if you play with Diaz, he's 5'5", five five. what are you going to think of him? Oh yeah, let me go towards him. Let me just, you know, shoot off the ball with him because he's not going to get around you. Let's all be fair. Now, the medium high work rates, I must say, was nice. But then time to time, I liked him going forward. So it was a bit of a, you know, a sticky situation because you kind of have to put balance on this guy and not stay back while attacking because he does drop very, very deep. And if you do put stay back while attacking, he's not going to give you that passing option. Now, the three-star weak foot, I'm telling you, minimum on a CDM, three-star weak foot, 100%. It feels like a four or five-star if the player has good passing, which obviously he does, 96 and 94. Now, pace-wise, he wasn't fast. He was. I felt like N'Golo Kante is much faster than him, I must say. But at the same time, he wasn't too slow. He got there. He got from point A to point B. I wouldn't say in a split second, but I would say it was fast enough. Now, shooting-wise, I for completely forgot he had the outside foot shot trait until I actually shot the ball. That's why I didn't mention it at the start, and I completely, you know, I'm sorry about that. But at the same time, <laughs> that 99 shot power carried this guy's shooting 100%. The long shots, I think I took two or even one. I can't really remember, but at the same time, they didn't go in. But they were a good shot. But long shots don't go in this year, so you have to obviously have to take that into account. Dribbling wise, he felt pretty decent on the ball. Yeah, again, I would say Angolo does feel better than him. Obviously, I'm talking about the gold card. He does feel better on the ball than him. But at the same time, DS is more calm and composed on it. He's more of a person that will shield off the ball rather than a person that will just wiggle his way through players. Interceptions, it got carried by that offensive awareness 100%. Reading the passing lanes, man marking, he was doing it all. But the only problem was he didn't have to reach to intercept most of the balls. Standing tackle, he's got a really, really nice strong standing tackle that he does get the ball, I would say, nine times out of ten. And that is always a nice sight to see. But... It, you have to go you have to look into he hasn't really got that reach to let's say if the player is a few meters away and you click b he won't also lock onto it and then click you know and then tackle for you he's one of those players that you have to be so precise when tackling it is ridiculous 97 stamina unbelievable up and down the pitch for the whole 90 minutes strength that is something i do want to talk about this guy was bodying plays left right and center he's actually got a bulky body in game as well which is always a nice side to see on a cdm especially 99 aggression made him faster but not a, not a lot i would say not a lot at all but i could tell he was winning so many 50 50s it was ridiculous now i have to give this card a rating out of 10 i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 i don't believe this guy is outstanding and do i suggest you guys to go get this card 100% no. It's simple as that. Don't do it because there's no point to it. If you're going to get this card, you might as well just go and get N'Golo Kante. Or if you're getting in for the league, you might as well just go get one of those cards that just came out. I did actually review one of them, a centre mid. That is out amazing. The link will be in the description. Go check him out. He was probably one of the best centre mids that I've ever used. Now, Diaz, <laughs> 7 out of 10. He's not getting any higher than that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.